I am still working on perfecting my technique with the bamboo pole. Aries is moving more freely as well. It's such a slow process, but the results are there. I keep going back to what Maya Olafs told me. If you can get your horse to improve 1% every time you work with him, in three to four months, you will have a totally different horse. I am teaching Aries to respond to the taps with the pole. When I tap his legs at the right time, I should get some increased articulation of the joints. When I touch his stomach, this should stimulate him to raise his back and lower his head. We also continue to work on increasing his comfort zone on the lunge. In order to canter decently, he needs a pretty large circle. In preparation for the canter, I ask him to increase and decrease his trot. These are also transitions, which are good for balance. Some of you can remember back to when asking for the canter was impossible. Look at him now. Still not balanced entirely, but he's going. And I'm not sure that you can see, but he is breathing every stride. An improvement over times in the past when he would only breathe every other stride. After coming down from the canter, Aries stretches very nicely. His position isn't great. His head is up, back hollow. He isn't flexing his tummy muscles very much. But that will come with time and repetition and strength. Again, trying to remember the 1% improvement plan. I have always had a tendency to want to see big changes, but this horse, more than any other, has forced me to get rid of that demand. I brought out the bareback pad today to see how Aries would deal with cinching. This horse reacts so completely to the human he is with. I have to continue to work on putting all past experiences out of my head. I am not sure if his trepidation about being cinched was him remembering it hurting, or whether he was reacting to my increased awareness. It's really hard to unlearn something. I have to pretend like all of those explosions he did didn't happen. He did well, considering it was the first time he'd been cinched in several months. He backed up a few times, but all in all, did fine.
one experiment I might try is getting someone else to cinch him and seeing how that goes. Lately, Aries has been coming when called. We finally managed to get it on video. It's so awesome for me that he comes when I call. And of course, Picasso will always come when called. Aries is spending more and more time hard tied. He doesn't really test the tie very often and has not pulled back here. What I need to do is tie him higher and let him hang out for a while. If he does pull back, he can't get much power when tied higher. I wanted to show you a little bit of how a more experienced horse deals with the bamboo pole. But first, Picasso has a habit of trying to kill the pole whenever it's out in front of him. It's a cute little game. Now, back to work, Picasso. When I tap his belly, you see that he drops his head. He does this because the tapping stimulates his tummy muscles to flex, which cause his back to raise and his head to lower. From that position, I can also tap his back legs, which cause them to articulate a bit more each time he steps. Now it's Aries' turn. I warmed Aries up doing some bending exercises, getting him to step deeply. I was going out of town for about 10 days and needed someone to work with both Aries and Picasso. Luckily, my friend Jamie boards at Lone Willow as well. Jamie also uses Manolo Mendez's training techniques on her horse, Stealth. I wasn't sure how Aries would do. Jamie has caught and grained Aries before, and he does come right up to her, so I was fairly certain that everything would be fine. But I wanted to show Jamie just how he operated.
Jamie has a very quiet way about her. I gave her a few pointers and then told her to just play. Her gelding, Stealth, is a Frisian cross like Picasso, but he's much bigger. She said Aries was like driving a Ferrari compared to Stealth. I enjoyed watching Jamie get to know Aries and watching Aries work with Jamie. It's tough for me to find a balance with Aries' training. On the one hand, he needs slow, progressive work. But on the other, I have to keep pushing his comfort zone if I am ever to ride him along roads and across the country. I struggle with how much is too much and frequently side on the side of doing less. Although this may be the safer way to go, I'm not sure how much progress will be made if I don't push him to try difficult things. Horses are far more resilient than we give them credit for. They are also more sensitive than we give them credit for. <laughs> 